Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the Edgar O World, and welcome back to the House of Nightmares. Alright you guys, so in today's video, in today's video, well first of all, in today's video, I'm gonna hold on to this voodoo knife because... We're gonna talk about it, but in today's video, we are going to discuss and talk about episode four of the Chucky series. And I gotta say, oh boy, do I got some opinions. So episode four was probably an epic episode for me. I gotta say, I don't think episode four is my favorite, favorite one, but I really enjoyed this episode. I really did like it. There's not a lot of things, a lot of negative things that I gotta say about this or any negative things about this episode. There might be like one or two things that I didn't like, but not in a bad way. We'll get to that right now, but this episode, I gotta say this episode was really, really good. I think episode three is still my favorite one. One thing that I really, really liked about this episode is that we get to see a lot more of Charles Lee Ray, but we get to see a lot more of him as a teen slash as an adult there's a lot of great elements and a lot of great details on how they're explaining to us charles e ray and now as a teenager so we get to see a lot more of him and we get to understand a little bit more about him and as we saw in episode four i think in episode five or maybe six they're going to ex explain how he moved to chicago because we know that he's not originally from chicago at first i think that they meant to say that he was originally from Chicago, but I think even Brad Dorf in an interview said that he was going to be originally from Chicago, but according to the TV series, he's not. We see that he is from this small little town and now he's moving somewhere. He's leaving this little town because of everything that's going on. And I think in episode five or episode six is where they're going to show that how he moved to Chicago and how he's starting to become more of the strangler that they call him, which we know that he's not. Or I should say the Lake Shore Strangler. Well, he's definitely more than that. But in this episode, I liked how they showed him. I like how they portrayed him. I like how they showed how he's crazy, how easily he can snap. And we see that when he kills the cleaning guy and he's taking care of these three kids. And out of these three kids, one of them in particular becomes really close to him. Now, one of these kids, shockingly, I didn't see this coming, is someone that we get to see as an adult in Charles Play 1. Now, in episode 4, we see that Charles Lee Ray hands him a box. And inside the box, we see a decapitated hand. It's just a crazy creepy gift i guess and we see charles lee ray telling him promise me you're never gonna tell nobody and he says i promise cross my heart hope to die and then that's when we see charles lee ray leave and then the little boy is just playing with a little hand poking his and then he puts the box underneath the bed and this is where we find out who this little boy is and we find out that this little boy is none other than eddie caputo now if you don't know who eddie caputo is he is the guy that betrayed charles lee ray in charles play one he is the man behind the wheel driving the getaway car that pretty much leaves Charles Lee Ray behind. So we see how he pretty much betrays Chucky and then Chucky goes back and blows up that house and pretty much kills Eddie Caputo. Now, I don't think that was necessary to explain to us who Eddie Caputo is, but I think that's a pretty nice touch to a loose loop. I honestly think that was very, very clever. Like, it was just a nice touch to the story. Now, one thing that I like about this series is the parents going at it, the parents finally fighting and letting each other know how they truly feel about each other. I don't know why, but there's something about that scene that was, to me, intense. Because if I was a parent, I'm definitely gonna let you know how I feel about you and your kid as a parent. So I thought that scene was pretty, it was pretty intense. And I really did like that scene. Now, one scene that I hated and I was trying to choke Jake through the TV screen was when Lexi kept telling him, this is your fault. None of this would have happened if you didn't send Chucky after me. And I'm just like, Jake, wake up. I really wanted to tell her like, no, this is happening because of you, because you were such a bad bully. If you wouldn't have been bullying me, this wouldn't have happened. Then I wouldn't have to send Chucky after you. So that's one thing that I was just like, I wish he would have just told her that. Like, the nerve and the audacity to tell me it's my fault when, no, this is your fault. So that was just one of those things that I hated. Not, not in a bad or negative way. It was just like, 
Come on, tell her it's her fault, not yours. Also, one thing that I found very interesting about this episode is that a lot of the scenes were taking place at a hospital. Now, if you guys remember, Chucky did say when he was killing the detective with all the syringes, he said, I love hospitals. That kind of reminded me of like a cult of Chucky reference in a way because he was in that mental asylum place and he was killing all those people. So it kind of gave me cult of Chucky vibes. Which, speaking of Cult of Chucky, I don't know you guys, I don't know if it's just me, maybe some of you saw the same thing, but I feel like there was more than just one Chucky doll in this hospital. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like there's a lot more than just one Chucky at play at this hospital, and if there is, this is where Cult of Chucky comes in place because I like that they're not ignoring Cult of Chucky because now they set this in place. We know that Chucky has transferred his soul in multiple Chucky dolls. So if that's the case, I feel like this is where Cult of Chucky comes in place. And even though a lot of people might not like Cult of Chucky or the idea that Charles Lee Ray can put his soul into many Chucky dolls like myself, I gotta say it's kind of nice that they're tying everything together. They're not just ignoring this movie or this movie. I like the fact that they're putting everything into place. I don't know if you're following me. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But I like the reference to Cult of Chucky. If I'm correct that there's many or plenty Chucky dolls at the hospital, I feel like if there is, this is where Cult of Chucky comes in place. Like, we get it. It's a lot easier to understand what's happening, but I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like there's plenty or different Chucky dolls, at least three Chucky dolls in this hospital. I don't know, but I do like the references. I really do like the little Easter eggs that they're dropping on us. Like, all the reference to Child's Play 1, all the reference to Child's Play 2, and now the reference to Child's Play 3. Now, let me just be the first one to bluntly say, <laughs> This is the part where it kind of shifts to the left. And I don't want to be negative and I don't want to sound negative. This is not a negative comment, but I just got to say, I don't like the burnt Chucky doll. I don't like it. Personally, for me, it's not my taste. I just don't like how he looks burnt. In some scenes, he kind of looked cheesy. In some scenes, he did look a little creepy. But for the most part, for me, I didn't like how he looked burnt burns and i know a lot of you guys are probably going to like how he looks burned and i do see a lot of people probably recreating this doll for their chuggy doll collections personally for me i don't know i just i didn't like it and honestly there shouldn't be nothing wrong with me saying that but i know a lot of you chuggy fans like to attack anybody that disagrees with you but hey i if i didn't like it i didn't like it but i'll tell you this i do like the fact that they're referencing this to child's play three when chucky gets his face cut off in half that scene with the scene of chucky being burnt or half of his face being burnt really reminds me of child's play three and again i feel like this scene is paying some type of homage to child's play three whether we like child's play three or not i like the little easter eggs i like all the references to child's play one child's play two and now child's play Three. I don't know if that was intentional in their parts, but to me, personally, for me, and I'm speaking for myself, uh, the half face burnt Chuggy doll reminds me a lot of Child's Play 3 Chuggy doll half cut off face. It really did remind me a lot of that. And last but not least, you guys, is when Jake finally tells Chucky, no, I don't want to be a killer. I am not like you, and I'm not going to kill Lexi, and he picks her up. No, I'm not like you, Chucky. I'm not a killer and saves her and I gotta say I never thought I would say this but Lexi is kind of growing on me I don't want to say that right now but she kind of is growing on me and I don't want to speak too soon but I kind of feel bad for the girl now maybe just a little bit we'll see how she acts in episode 5 and episode 6 but for the most part I'm really honestly you guys I'm really enjoying episode 4 I think episode 4 was a really good episode and we're just getting started because we haven't seen Andy we haven't seen Kyle we haven't seen any of the characters from before so this is just gonna get better and better and better but for the most part right now I gotta say A plus. And the ending, the ending of this episode was just classic Chucky. It was just the classic Chucky that we love. The classic Chucky that we know is pretty much Chucky just pretty much sticking his middle finger. We've seen that so many times in Bride of Chucky. We've seen that in Charles Play 3. We've seen that in Culture Chucky. So this is like I said, an another reference to how Chucky is, how Chucky has always been. And 
I liked it because we finally got the iconic in your face so yeah you guys I don't know what else to say I gotta say I really am just like enjoying this episode I'm really enjoying the series I think this is just really really good I haven't had any complaints I haven't had anything negative to say like oh I really didn't like that or I thought that was boring no none of that I'm really into this series I'm really into every episode maybe because I am a Chucky fan but for me, it takes a lot to get hooked on a TV show. And once I get hooked on, if by episode 5 or 6, it's not getting any better, I get bored and I stop watching. Kind of like Breaking Bad for me or The Walking Dead. I said that a lot, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I don't know. These are my thoughts and my opinions. I'm really liking this TV show. I don't want it to end. I hope it doesn't end. <laughs> it will, but um, yeah, I'm really, really liking it. But like always, I would like to know your thoughts and your opinions. What do you guys think about what I just said? Do you guys think there's another Chagita or two, three Chagitas in this hospital? And do you think there's like a cult going on? right now i'm pretty sure there's going to be another bang another shocker or another you didn't see this coming and i really i really like that but i would like to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below you guys like always i like when you guys agree with me like yeah you're right that does remind me of child's play 2 that does remind me of child's play 3 so yeah let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below so yeah you guys if you guys like this video please give this video a huge thumbs up if you're new to my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button also don't forget to click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload which is once a week but all right you guys i can't wait for episode five and like always we'll be here to talk all about it so yeah as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one bye